Philip Andrew versus Gerald. Fast start for both of them. Gerard attacking the foot, being blocked really well by Felipe Andrew. No, no, sorry, I was saying. Uh, Right guys, sorry. Uh, here we go here. Philippians don't want to come up, meet Gerard, and um, see who's going to be willing to give away one advantage for the points. Both fighters very good on footlocks. Fighter really respecting each other, try to get the best positions possible for to start the game, you know, because that's the thing. You don't want to give away an inch on that level. That's the possibility of a steamer lock over there by Gerard. It's not spotted by Dimitri. Ah, sorry, Felipe. Nothing has happened so far. Gerard used that foot in the lapel to don't get the fully 50-50. So have a little bit of, a, of option to do a possibility of a leg drag or something. But um, it's a little bit unorthodox this way. Like get stuck, the more Felipe tried to take off. Won't do much, but um, in the same way, Gerard has limited his options too. So it's kind of stalling a little bit. Both athletes got a penalty. The thing is, uh, Felipe Andrew is trying to push the, the rhythm here, but um, is not able because of uh, De La Pell control by Gerard, you know, so make the whole situation a little bit more stuck. You can see how much effort this Philip is trying to put to make it happen, but um, in my opinion, that could be a, a penalty for Gerard instead. Jared tried to get underneath there, use the lapel to spin, protect the knees. It's been a while since I saw a battle of uh, both fighting from the boot, uh, the butt on the ground. But, um, yeah, I think no one wants to give away the, the advantage to be on the bottom. Both 
Jared, who started with the Copacabana uh, in Warsaw. Actually, he uh, I graded him up until uh, purple or brown belt, and then he moved to Sao Paulo, and uh, now he's been training with the, with the Brotherhood with Cicero Costa. Uh, he started Cicero Costa, then now with Brotherhood with uh, Leandro Law. He's one of the best top training partners for Leandro Law. Felipe Andrew fight real well, taking off the lapel control from Gerard. Gerard in black, Felipe Andrew in white. Just a little bit over halfway. It's a good attack here by Gerard on the footlock, straight footlock. I guess one of the most dangerous guys in the footlock in the, in the circuit, Felipe Andrew. Gerard getting an advantage for it. Seems like he knows exactly what he wanted to do this game. Has a, has a, he definitely had a, an agenda for sure. Now, Felipe Andrew getting the, the two points, putting Gerard in a very difficult situation here. Nice pass to the right. The lapel is holding just for a little bit. They're just like, that's not going to handle much. Yeah, Felipe Andrews adjusting the grips, make sure that's nice and tight so he doesn't lose that head control. Doing all this while keeping the control of the bottom left legs from, uh, from Gerard. This is what I usually say, you know, it's like a jogging. You cannot lose the controls until we have a better one. Now it's, things become a little bit tighter for uh, Gerard. That's going to be a pass. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Seven, zero to Philippe Andrew, confirming the great phase he's in. Gerard tried to use that little control on the lapel, but that's not really active, really. It's when you have that much of a slack on the lapel, that's not doing nothing to the body of the opponent. Just like kind of get himself stuck. Sometimes he can go against you instead. One minute and just over 15 seconds to go. Gerard just like getting himself stuck in the lapel there. Let's which delay a little bit what Philippe Andrew could do against him, but it's very ineffective for escape and stuff. Very difficult because of hips from uh, injuries very far. Unless if there's no slack, that, that's that's when I usually like to, to create um, a movement. You know? And that's it, like he stopped, so we got even more penalty points for Gerard for Stone. Four points extra to Flippy Andrew. Just over 35 seconds to go. 
Is he going to go for a submission? As you guys can see, that's the foot wrapped on the lapel wrapped on Gerard's foot. It's just like it's not much effective. 20 seconds. That's a good position here for Andre for the Amber. Good opportunity. And it's the end. Felipe Andrew advances to the final. Kino Cornelius on the other mat, number three, is uh, just been passing through Jackson Souza with a very, very tough match. Uh, then we're going to be, Muhammad Ali going to be next on the mat number three. Just after that. Felipe Andrews showing a great performance.